Researchers have fully mapped the brain of a fruit fly. Is this important to us in AI development? What will the impacts be? In this video, I'll give you my quick observations about this monumental achievement. I welcome your comments and encourage you to visit the Flywire AI website to interact with this brain map for yourself. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way, learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. The Flywire Project is a worldwide consortium of researchers centered at Princeton University. They have mapped the entire connectome of the brain of the fruit fly. What's the connectome? It's a map of neurons and the synaptic connections between them. In the same way, a genome is a map of the DNA or chromosomes of an organism. This monumental achievement of mapping 140,000 neurons and 50 million synapses yielded over a petabyte of data representing the fly's entire brain. This represents what the fruit fly brain is, a connectome of neurons connected by synapses. This is distinct from what the fruit fly brain does, which you'd learn from observing the fly's behavior. This is also distinct from how the brain works, which you could learn from a neural simulation. And of particular interest to the AI field, can we replicate these capabilities? The Flywire Connectome database itemizes all neurons individually, and you can easily query what other neurons each is connected to. The artificial intelligence world has made great strides by replicating observable human intelligent behaviors. But we could do so much more, so much better, if we knew details of what the human brain is internally and how it works. Information we could get from a human connectome. Then we could use computers to replicate the features we need for a given application and perhaps enhance them to superhuman performance. A connectome can show you that an input signal over here, like this photoreceptor from the eye, flows through a series of connections and eventually goes to the part of the brain which causes an action. In this case, the fly turns. But it doesn't tell you what processing the brain is doing along the way. Could we take the data from the fruit fly connectome and put it into a neuron simulator to get a better idea of how the fruit fly brain works? I turned to the brain simulator too and allocated a similarly sized array of neurons with random synapses. Here's what a simulation of 125,000 neurons looks like on the brain simulator too. To make this represent a fruit fly, someone would need to read the Flywire connectome data and put it into the brain simulator, and then create some simulated inputs and an output decoder. Neurons are fundamentally electrochemical switching devices, and the synapses connecting them handle the flow of signals from one neuron to another. Working together, neurons can perform any digital function, and the neuron simulator can simulate these processes to any desired degree of accuracy. Here are some of the things we could learn from simulating the flywire connectome. We won't find anything like backpropagation, but we might find out how a biological brain learns instead. We know that fruit flies can learn, but I would speculate that the fly doesn't learn very much relative to its 50 million synapses count. The adult fruit fly emerges with a fully formed brain after about 10 days of development. With its lifetime of perhaps six weeks, the fruit fly doesn't have time to learn very much. The structure of the fruit fly brain is largely defined by the fly's DNA. 
the fruit flies genome is only 33 megabytes and only a fraction of that defines its brain. So it is impossible that the DNA explicitly defines all the connections. It must therefore define an overall structure and the neurons and synapses grow according to a small set of general rules. The human brain could develop according to the same rules. Overall, if we consider the fruit fly to be equivalent to a tiny autonomous robot, its brain or control system is remarkably capable. What does this fruit fly study tell us about the human brain? Human and fruit fly neurons share significant similarities, including using many of the same neurotransmitters and exhibiting similar basic structures and developmental processes, making fruit flies a valuable model organism for studying human brain function at the cellular level. So despite the obvious differences in scale and complexity between fruit flies and humans, this line of research will tell us a lot about how the human brain works. While the fruit fly brain has 140,000 neurons, the human brain has 86 billion. That's a factor of over 500,000 times more. This doesn't mean that it will take 500,000 times as long to create a human connectome. As with the Human Genome Project, we should expect exponential acceleration as the Human Connectome Project gains traction. But it does mean I do not expect the Human Connectome Project to be completed within the next five years. But when it is complete, it will tell us a lot, not only about how the brain works, but how we can help people to maximize the benefit of having one. Replicating the behaviors of a fruit fly is still beyond the capabilities of our artificial intelligence. A fruit fly can find its own food, navigate around its environment, and reproduce by finding fruit to lay eggs in. Our AI can't do this yet, and anyway, we're more interested in replicating human behaviors. The commercial value of replicating a fruit fly is not clear because fruit flies can make lots of errors and make up for this shortfall with thousands of offspring. Simulating the fruit fly brain could tell us a lot about what to expect when we eventually build the human brain connectome. And lastly, we shouldn't expect the human brain connectome to be complete in the next year or two. I've just scratched the surface in this video. You can download the Brain Simulator 2 project from GitHub at the link in the description. You can also join the Future AI Society to learn more and participate in our monthly online meetings and enhance the development of this software, which forms the basis for the future of artificial intelligence. If you found this information interesting, be sure to like and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm will encourage others to learn about it too. And as always, thanks for watching.